everyone and welcome to another SQL tutorial with Learn at Nostar. Today we are going to write a SQL query to find the most frequently purchased together items by customers. So let's get started. I have a simple table called customer orders. It has three columns, order ID, customer ID and product ID. Now we are going to find the combinations of products bought together by customers for the same orders and then we are going to rank them in order of their frequency. So to do that, the first step is to perform an inner join to find that pair of products within that order. So we are going to perform a self join on the same table for the same order and the same customer and then we'll be able to pick up the pairs of products which the customer puts together. So to do that it's simple I'm just going to give an alias O1 here and then I'm going to do an inner join on the same table so I'm going to do an inner join on the same table call it O2 and this join is going to be on the customer ID so customer ID is equal to O2 dot customer id and o1 dot order id because we are saying the products purchased together so we are saying that they should be purchased in the same order so o1 dot order id is equal to o2 dot order id and now because we do not want pairs like aaa bbb and bbb aa which are essentially the same thing right so a pair of ab and a pair of ba is the same thing because those are the two same product combinations so to avoid that what we have to mention here is that oven dot product id is greater is greater or you can say is less than anything so any equality inequality in terms of greater or less than would work to filter out those two combinations and restrict them to only one output so we can say open dot product is less than o2 dot product id so what will happen let's just run this query um we have to select the product ids and o2 dot product id so if i run this sql statement only till this part and do not include that uh, comparison on product id what i'm going to get is all the product combinations and they would be repeated as duplicates a a a would also be there then b b b a a a will also be there a a b b b will also be there which is essentially the same thing so i want to filter it out to only one of these three records so what i'm going to say is product id one is less than product id b b b so that will just filter out all these only it will keep only one of these three records so that is what we're trying to achieve by this particular condition now if i run it all together then i'm going to get only one combination which is what i desire so now i've got the combinations the next step is to find out how many times this combination is bought together so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to include one more I'm going to say account star as my purchase frequency from the same table and since it is account star it's an aggregate function what we need to do now is do a group by so the group by is going to be on o1 dot product id and o2 dot product id which is basically the combination of these products which we just obtained so i'm going to do a group by i'm going to run this query together and what you'll see that i'll see how many times this combination has occurred in my table which means which is essentially giving me the purchase frequency now since i want only the most uh, the most frequently purchased together items so i am going to use an order by and i'm going to order by this purchase frequency that we just created say purchase frequency over here and now if i execute the whole thing you will see that this has been ordered but in an ascending manner so we want to make sure it's a descending order so this is how we can uh, order it in a descending order now if you have a requirement that you want only top two combinations or top three combinations then you can just go above here and include top t top two and it is going to give you only the top two combination of most frequently purchased items together 
So this is simply how this can be achieved. If you found this video useful, then please do not forget to subscribe to YouTube channel and also like, comment and share this video. All the scripts and all the practice data is available in the link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.